Excuse me. Good sir. We are looking for Jerusalem. Have you heard of her? I don't know who she is either, but we need to get to her. We need to keep her safe. Okay, sticks over. Greetings everyone, the good son I and today we're doing our review on the Eagle Industries multi-purpose chest rig. Which is really hard to talk about, so uh, let's just go ahead and take that off real quick. Uh, so today we're talking about the Eagle Industries. Uh, whew, it's warm in here. Eagle Industries chest rig. So let me take this little blaster out of the way here. I gotta move that over there, hit the lights. Whew. Eagle Industries multi-purpose chest rig. It's this neat little thing my buddy actually sent it to me not too long ago. It was one of his uh, favorites that he didn't get a lot of use out of. So he sent it to me as a solid alternative to a plate carrier. You generally want to have both because you never know when you're going to need a bunch of tools and high speed or armor, you know, speed versus defense sort of balancing issues. So multi-purpose chest rig holds eight M4 magazines. Two pistol mags are alternative similar shaped items. Then you got these three dip can pouches in case, you know, you want to have more than one flavor. So probably like mint, wintergreen, and standard, or I see a few people go with the southern blend. Anyway, or you can put mints in them, you know, add more rattling and stuff. So, Mullet Burst District, cool little mag pouches, Velcro with uh, the things. We got a 3x3 here, so I just got a smoke grenade and a flashbang pouch on this side. More realistically, I'll probably keep nods on this side, and you throw on a uh, beaver tail assault pack, keep your helmet in there. So once you get to your destination where you, and it starts getting dark, you can pop on that helmet, throw on those nods, and you're good to go. Medical generally goes on the right side. I just have a uh, flask of whiskey in here because this is just a uh, Blackhawk one, and I'd probably use a, just a standard issue one. So, as you might notice, this does come in the Coyote, not the Coyote Brown. This is Coyote Brown review for reference. But this comes in the old khaki style that has a good amount of green mixed in there to kind of help it blend in a bit better on uh, in green environments. I almost forgot. Generally, you're going to be using these without the needs of helmets and stuff. So, boonie hat goes a long way in any concealment. You can run it with a helmet, and helmets with chest rigs are an aesthetic. So, let's take a quick look here. So, if we pop open one of these buckles to help keep your mag secure, you got the Velcro coming up here. Two mags easily fit in there. And even got an extra little tab down here. And that lets you keep your dip can or similar shaped round rotund item. So there actually isn't a lot of uh, administrative pouches on here. So like flashlights and pens and stuff, you might have to place into the elastic, elastic on the sides. But uh, yeah, you got some pretty cool options going on. Um, I like tapping these. When you got the mag set like here, it makes you want to do the whole cross arm. Oh, there's your multi-purpose chest rig post. They, they do come with a radio wire and stuff. These little Velcro things here, little Velcro straps with uh, two buckles on the end. And I haven't actually figured out what that's meant to be used for. I think it's supposed to either attach it to older style plate carriers or packs and stuff, but alas, it's a mystery. I didn't get issued this particularly. This is more of something I picked up afterwards from my buddy who's again married, so. Yeah, for the uh, pouch up here, you got a lot more Velcro surface. You need a particular pouch or patches on there, and you got your. Uh, I got battery extra batteries in here because they're always useful. And if you pop open the top part, you got your mags here. Now these mags aren't going to be the fastest to access, but they are going to be incredibly secure. So when you are going through the jungle, which I gotta admit, I actually do that way more than I thought I did. But me and my buddy end up going through the jungle all the time. Plate carriers suck to wear in the jungle, but if you have something like this, then uh, it's going to be a lot less of an issue. But all those uh, sticks and branches and crazy things, they're going to have a very hard time uh, pilfering your goods. And by goods, I mean life-saving ammunition and medical supplies and all that good stuff. So good to have. The extra buckles do a long way for keeping everything secure. Also, not relying on uh, armored plates and stuff. You do cut out a good chunk of weight, and it's easier to pack away in a bag. So if you don't need all this stuff up front, immediately accessible. On the back, it's got this little, um, what should I call it, Velcro drag handle looking closure. It does uh, bow out a bit because of how high I've worn, but the padding in this is absolutely god tier and is incredibly comfortable to wear for extended periods of hours. Now as far as hot spots, 
Naturally, the front, despite the little mesh uh, backer, is going to get pretty warm. Straps not so bad. Back's open, so only your pack's going to add weight and uh, heat back there. As far as the front part, you pop that open, pull up on the zipper, and you're open. So, you can keep a lot of maps and extra paperwork. You got that pouch right there that leads to the back with the mesh. And then you also have a second split pouch up on the front that you can access with this little elastic pull tab. Bit of a pain to access in gloves though. And that one's up in the uh, front section. You got the same repeated over on this side. And when you need to put your chest rig back together, you just line up the zipper real quick. And back down. This is probably a bit more of a pain if you got the rifle up front, but you know, you can always move that back or out of the way. Get access to that. So, cool little setup. Really lightweight. Really nifty. I don't have any smoke grenades, unfortunately, so. These pouches are kind of a bust, but like I said, this would be where you generally want to put your nods. So if you were to pop this open here, where's my nods pouch? That's loud. You don't need the thermal, actually, I guess if you're doing a lot of reconnaissance stuff, thermals can go a long way. But generally, it'll take your PVS-14 pouch like so. You just uh, plant that boy in there, and bam! You got that. It's going to push your arms out, but that's kind of natural. It's the expectation of having extra gear, so. Yeah, it's a neat little thing. I haven't seen a whole lot of reviews on it, but they're not too expensive. They're a lot cheaper than uh, chest rigs, or uh, play carriers, I mean, it is a chest rig. And it gives you some alternative for when you're doing uh, lots of simple training or if you're going out on really long patrols and stuff where basically body armor isn't going to be as much of a need. You're not looking as much of direct action and you're looking more for just uh, staying out of the way. If you do get into a conflict, you can throw some rounds that way in a GTFO, so. Lightweight gives you more stamina. Of course, having more stamina still requires you to, well, you know, build up that stamina to begin with. So you can't just neglect PT and be like, ah, oh, I'm gonna say, uh, I'll just wear the chest rig because the plates, they're too much. Yeah, so you can, if you actually do build up that exercise, then you'll be able to go farther and faster with a chest rig than a plate carrier. But if you get zipped in the chest, you're, you're done, son. That's it. That's game over. So you got to play it smart. And yeah, so that's more or less all I got for you guys today. Cool little chest rig setup. Straps are adjustable. It's got a really simple back strap. Um, I suppose if you ever got really bored, you could probably mount a micro DC 3RM or some sort of like chest rig in the back. Or you could get a rig it to a pack. I've seen that done before. The downside is that you no longer have access to said pack, so is that really the right move? Is I guess what I'm getting at, so. Yeah, so cool setup. I'm gonna be tapping these mags throughout the video and everything, you just hear the batteries rattling around. The therms are nice for their waterproofing, but unless you throw in like some cotton or material in there, they're going to rattle, so. Also, cotton's flammable, so if they form a circuit in any way, shape, or form, you're going to have like a mini fire, which would be pretty wild. But they are airtight, so it might burn out. You never know. But yeah, so that's all I got for you guys. Um, T-pose and everything. Actually, let me... We got to get a thumbnail for this video, all right? So if we're going to do a thumbnail. We might as well do it right. Ooh, it's hot. There's your, there's your thumbnail. Ugh. This thing rust like wicked quick. You gotta wax it like every week. Anyway, that's all I got. Cheers, Station Force. So if you have any questions, feel free to hit me up. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much everything. Cheers, everyone. Catch you later. Peace.